everyone, my name is Allison, and for today's video, we're focusing on the upper body and core. But before we begin, make sure to tap that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the latest fitness videos. For this workout, you'll need three sets of dumbbells from light to heavy. We'll be working three blocks containing three exercises each, 45 seconds on and 15 second break in between and repeat each block two times. So grab your weights and a mat and let's get started. Here are your exercises for block number one. Kicking it off is an overhead Arnold press. For this move, either grab your moderate or heavy dumbbells. Begin with your feet shoulder width apart. Holding the weights, place your palms facing in, elbows tight. Engage the core and keep the spine long. We're gonna take a breath, inhale, and then on the exhale, rotate and press overhead, and then slowly bring it down to start. So inhale, exhale, press, and then bring it down. To modify this move, do alternating arms. For the second exercise, we're doing a variation for the lateral raise. Holding your moderate pair of dumbbells, have your feet again shoulder width apart, soft knees, abs are tight, roll the shoulders back, and have your palms facing each other. Elbows at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna start by doing a traditional lateral raise and then flip the palms up and lower back down. So palms face back in, up, rotate palms up and lower. And for your third and final exercise in block one, grab your lightest pair of weights. We're gonna go into a modified horse stance. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart, toes flaring out. With the abs tight, drop the knees, arms up, palms in, we're gonna rotate, punch, rotate, punch. Focusing on your abdominals, your obliques, and also those shoulders.
sizes for block number two. We're gonna go ahead and take it down onto the ground into a kneeling position. Starting off is chest fly with pulses. Now for this move, we definitely want your lightest pair of weights. Kneeling nice and tall, we're gonna go ahead and bring our arms up, soft bend in the elbows, relax the shoulders. Take a breath, inhale, and then exhale, perform your chest fly, get the weights to touch, and then pulse and squeeze for three counts. One, two, three. And then open back up. Exhale, pulse, one, two, three. You should feel in the chest and a little bit of shoulders. For the second exercise, we're performing renegade rows and push-ups. Now for this move, we're gonna go ahead and use our heavier set of weights and then place our hands on top. Assume a high plank position, engage in the core, squeeze the glutes. Now without shifting the hips, row once, row twice, do one push-up. To modify this, drop the knees. Keeping the hips steady again, engage the core, row once, row twice, keep the knees down, perform one modified push-up. And for your third exercise in block two, we're doing a pullover. Holding one heavier dumbbell, we're gonna go into a lying down position. Once you're in a lying down position, hold your weight vertically with both hands. Raise the arms up, keep the elbows soft. Engage the core, and then slowly bring the head of that dumbbell down towards the ground. Stop when you feel a little bit of a stretch in those lats, and then exhale, come right back up. The head of this dumbbell is just about right over your chin. If you like an option for this, have your body in a glute bridge position. Engage the core, tuck that pelvis in, lift the hips and hold the steady the whole time, and then perform the same pullover move. for block number three. 
Kicking it off is a V-sit hold with bicep curls. There's a couple different options you can do for the V-sit hold. If you like to, you can definitely keep your heels on the ground the whole time, lean back and keep the back straight. Or if you're a little bit more advanced, bring your legs up to 90 degrees. Now for your arms, you're gonna go ahead and hold the weights and bring your arms up into a floating bicep. We're gonna curl in and out. So this is the modified with the heels down. And if you want the challenge, bring it up to 90 degrees. For your second and third exercise, we're gonna do a set of tricep presses. Now for this move, we can only do one side at a time. Go ahead and take a seat in a staggered position. Take your outside hand forward, take your arm closest to the ground, underneath your rib cage, and give yourself a hug. Try not to fight and resist yourself. You're going to dip that shoulder towards the ground, bend this elbow, and then push through the palm, come back up to start. Inhale down, exhale, press up. And for your last exercise in block three, it's going to be body weight. We're gonna go into a bear plank position and do alternating shoulder taps and knee taps. So assume a bear plank position with your hands shoulder width apart, little space between the knees, engage the core, keep the back flat, and then when you're ready, hover those knees just above the ground. Your goal is to not let the hips shift. We're gonna alternate shoulder tap, shoulder tap, knee, knee. This is all core here.
so much for doing this workout. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.